Uh, all, right, all right, so, so I, feel I feel like one of my my biggest weaknesses probably, probably is dying. dying. Like 100%, 100%. I know I that. Know that. Uh, uh, I, I, I would assume, assume that's probably chalked up to like positioning and that sort of thing. Sort of thing. Um, um, but, but I still, I still usually, usually uh, so, so in tandem, in tandem with, that, with that, early laning, laning is usually an, an issue for me. For me. But, but then, then I feel, I feel like, like as the as game progresses, game progresses like, like it's just it's inevitable. inevitable. As long as, as, long as we're, we're not getting, getting trashed, trashed, we're gonna win. Because I can usually like sustain and come back. But yeah, I just I don't know. Positioning early game would be the biggest thing, I guess. Interesting. Okay. Um, I see that you were uh bronze got silver the last four years. Yo, what happened? Uh, my, uh, main my main got banned, this is just, just one I picked, I picked up. Ah, uh, I see. Alright, um, and I guess we'll take a look at one of these games. Which one do you think highlights that the most? You know, like, uh, early positioning issue and, you know, kind of dying. That, that yeah, last Varus game, game, that's why I wanted, why I wanted that one, that one uh, encapsulated, uh, encapsulated in this time, this time which, which it's still, still going, going, but, but the... the uh, here, uh, let me go look at my, my videos. videos. Let's see here. Also, I see you. I noticed you're playing Quinn. How does she feel? Oh, uh, I mean, ever I since they did, did all those bug, bug fixes, fixes for her, so smooth. So, so, I, I, I liked her before, before but, now, but now, you know, it's yeah, just she's actually, actually viable, viable in my, in my opinion. opinion. It's really interesting. I was actually uh, testing her yesterday, so maybe my picker. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a troll pick, but I was like, you know, it's not that bad. The stats aren't bad at all on her W, so. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So, so um, um, let's see. I have. have... So the so vein target game, game. We, we I figure we can probably go over that one first because that one should be a fairly quick one because we just like demolish the other team. But I still wanna. Uh, Look at that one, just so you can be like, look, you know, like even though you're ahead, like you probably shouldn't be doing this and this or whatever. Of course, of course. <coughs> it's always like, get, like what are what are things we can do better? Okay, hold on. First off, we want to talk about like early game positioning stuff, right? So this is kind of like, yeah. kind of not relevant, kind of relevant, right? So how many times when you're leashing have you walked through this bush and then you die? Uh, actually. Like lately, it doesn't seem to be the meta for people to like catch you. Uh, but I uh, I can only imagine as higher rank goes. Right, but if you like, we already got you know semi punished, right? Is is the the kind yeah. of the idea is that you know um, taking this path will never be better than taking the safe path, right? Okay. Um, and the reason is is that oh well, if you wanted to get to your minions earlier, uh, give a smaller leash, right? Or um, something along those lines, right? Uh, because doing something like this it can range anywhere from uh, nothing bad happens, so maybe we get like an extra auto in to you lose first blood because they're standing here, right? Which is really bad. Um, there's yeah. really no reason to walk through there, but that's just like a side, you know, tidbit. If you say, you know, no one does that at your rank, then uh, I guess, you know, it's not gonna be a problem, but the one game it happens, you're gonna be upset, you know? <laughs> Um, yeah just fair. just so you know right and i only mentioned because you know um it's happened to me like so many times i never walked through there anymore unless we're trying to fight level one right um yeah fair enough so maybe if you had your target with you and you say we're, we win level one you guys walk through otherwise uh walking in 1v2 would be really dicey right um oh this shouldn't be that bad nice stun very nice guardian good 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 not bad at all. Uh, okay, so tell me about the laning phase. I think you wanted to talk about early game stuff. Yeah, just so excluding this game, um, it, it just it seems like the the norm turns out to be that I get zoned and out harassed, poked, that sort of thing. Um, so it usually ends up with I'm behind him farm. Not necessarily, I mean, I, I don't hit every CS by any means, but it's usually like, if I want to get CS, I'm going to be like losing a bunch of HP. Interesting, interesting. Um, should we actually watch a game where that happens? So that we can see yeah, yeah, what's yeah, going on? Yeah, yeah, you can swap on? over. Uh, any of those yeah, others, I'm sure it's there. 
Okay, Vietnam, I mean, it's still the same champion, so let's take a look at this real quick. Um, all right, so have you seen my other coaching videos by any chance? Yes, I've watched uh, a few of them. Have you, uh, have I ever talked about matchups and laning phase and any of those? Yeah, almost all of them. <laughs> all right, nice. So, um, when it comes to, um, wow, what is going on here? When it comes to, wait, let's watch this first. <laughs> You're you're so you're gonna be so sad. Okay, you got a base. All right. Um, there's another one of those things where we talk about level one is you know when you go for this you know what's the most likely scenario to happen like when you walk through the unsafe path after leashing what's the most likely scenario it's just that they're all here, right? Um, yeah. Oftentimes whenever there's a skirner in the game people will hide right here, or hide in the yeah, dragon yeah. pit or some crazy shit and then you're like wait a minute this is this is stupid, right? Um, but whatever it doesn't matter. Um, Hopefully, yeah, it didn't matter too much. So when it comes to uh, the lane matchup, what do you think your lane wants to do, and what do you think their lane wants to do? Uh, they want to poke all day and trade. They got the Ash poke and then the Janna W with shield. Um. Okay, I'll say that <coughs> they you have the correct uh, categories, right? They want to poke and they want to trade. Um, what do you guys want to do? Um. I'm not sure because like we have the heal and we have hard CC with the Nami bubble. She has poke with her W heal as well. How about um what's the most likely scenario for you to win the lane? What do you think? If Nami wins lane, how does she do it? Uh just sustaining? Right. So if you guys all sustain, then what do you want to do in terms of your categories? Trade? Right, you want to trade. You want to trade as much as possible whenever Nami's wave is up, right? So if we knew that going okay. into our level one, what should you do here? Um, let's back it up a little bit. What should you do here? Oh, I, I shouldn't be farming then? I should be poking? <laughs> if they're going to hit you, you hit back. Right. Okay. Um, unless it's like a cannon minion or something, but if they're gonna hit you, you hit back, right? Otherwise, this happens, right? And then it's like, wait a minute, what just happened? And the reason being is because what happens when they hit you? These minions are not gonna die. Watch. These range minions are turning their attention to Janna. You see this? Yeah. Fair. Fair. So. Never thought about um, that. Anytime a uh, uh the basic idea is that anytime a poke champion wants to hit you, uh, you a don't get hit by running away or B, hit back. All right. Okay. So in this case, um, we hit back. Even if we didn't have Nami, we'd have to hit back because if we don't, we lose a bunch of HP for nothing. But since we have Nami, this is a winning, this is a winning strategy is that we hit back and then we get Nami waved, right? So we can even yeah. hit, um, we can even hit Ash, right? And we'll be good. Um, but basically the idea is, you know, you should think to yourself every time Nami wave is up, I want to trade. Right? I want to spam trade. Okay. And then if she's starting to use heal on yourself or something weird like that, you say, if I'm not a forward, HP kill me, right? But she'll get the general idea when you're trying to trade, right? Yeah. So this doesn't work, right? You don't follow up on that. Um, how do we know that catch is not as strong in this lane, right? Because you know, you're like, oh, we have some CC, so we can actually catch them. Um, but how do we know that trading is our best way to win this lane? Hmm. Uh... Not sure. Because um, you should consider catch as like two pieces. One is the CC part, right? Like blitz hook. And the second component is the follow up, right? So if we're playing oh, yes. um, Vayne, how good is our follow up? Not very good. Okay, if we're playing Twitch, how good is our follow up? Pretty good. I would say still not really good, right? It's like, uh, we throw a cask. It's not as strong as other champions, right? If we're playing Varus, how's yeah, that follow-up? Uh, pretty mediocre. It's, it's pretty good, right? Because you can, um, you have long, you have longer range, right? So you can auto-attack and throw your E. So on a standing, on a target that's unable to move, you get like three damage, right? Okay, yeah. Same thing with, uh, we'll keep going with this because, uh, it seems like something we should look at. And then, how about Caitlyn? How's our follow-up if Nami hits bubble? Pretty good. Right, and why? Uh, combo with trap. 
exactly. And then they're done so, right? Same thing with like Morgana, yeah. right? That's why Morgana, Kaylin, is super canceled. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the idea is that uh, we know that this lane is going to be more trade focused because our catch is going to look like this. And it's like we can't follow up, right? What are you going to do? Tumble into their minions, right? Um, so yeah, yeah. not much you can do if she lands bubble. But uh, landing Ws is easy because it's point and click, right? So we want to take as many trades as possible in this lane and heal up, right? So we are... Uh, uh, tell me if we're doing... Um, if we're playing kind of that idea out well enough, I would say. Because we are trading, right? They're losing HP. But is it good enough? Uh yeah, no, it's not good enough. For sure. I'll say it's, it's like borderline slash not good enough, right? You guys have too little HP for how much they have, right? Um, yeah. So we're just we're just losing too much. Like this is uh, diveable if uh, maybe Skarner is here or something, right? So um, you it's kind of along the same. It's kind of along that track, but uh, you need to know that every time they hit you, you can hit back and that's winning, right? Like whenever she walks up, you hit her back, you're winning, right? Even you can even tumble into her face. Or you can auto attack tumble, anything like that, and you're gonna win. Um, so that's kind of okay. the idea: is that whenever there's a lane issue, it's nine times out of ten an issue with oh, did we know what we're supposed to do for the matchup, or did we execute the matchup right? Because you know sometimes you're like oh maybe you know you know you want to trade, but then you accidentally do an all in. You know what I'm saying? Because they like, you turn around and try start hitting you. So um, I think here we need to know we have to have the idea we have to know the idea is that we want to trade as much as possible with Nami Wave, right? And then uh, if that doesn't happen, then we end up, you know, being stuck in this situation where they per per push us in and we can't really do anything, right? Yeah, because I, I feel like if that's the case, then that domino is all the way back to that, like, very first uh, wave. Because, like, they kind of, like, set the tone for me and I was just like, oh, shit. Well. Right. Um, but the idea is that uh, this is true that, you know, so, you know, level one wave can impact things down the line, but... At this rank, they will always make a mistake. I promise. Like, yeah. uh, I think it was back here when she walks up to auto you, and it's like winning trade. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. When we we're like, you can just auto attack tumble her, right? Um, yeah. Like in this case, right? They'll always make this mistake, right? So if you can find it, um, the earlier lane mistakes really won't matter. If that makes any sense, you can recover. That's that's kind of what I'm trying to yeah, get at. Yeah. Is that um, they'll always make a mistake like this, right? You can hit back and then she's losing. Um, so that's kind of the idea. Is that always look for it, even if you know level one doesn't go well, or uh, people die level one, or maybe um, we took free damage or something. Uh, it doesn't mean that you have to lose later on. You know what I'm saying? You can always play out the matchup, yeah. right? But yeah, I think here we're just um, uh, kind of. Uh, Okay, let's talk about this. What are our what is our number one priority in lane? Uh, CS. Okay, good. And then uh, and making sure we don't die, right? <laughs> well, yeah. What's yeah. our number two priority? Uh, tower. Uh, how often do you th how often do people aim the enemy tower and get it? Just like oh, we're gonna take their tower and then they get it. Oh, I mean, not very often. Yeah, like I, I have no idea, right? Um, so we know that tower is not really a uh, our priority here, right? How can you really assume you win the lane, right? What are the jungler comes? It doesn't really make sense, right? Um, yeah. So our number two priority is making sure that they don't do what their matchup wants, right? So okay, if we look at yeah. our uh, Nami Vayne versus Ash Jenna, we say we want to trade. What do they want to do? They want to poke. Yes, they want to poke. So um, you don't want you don't let them do what they want to do, right? So every time she walks up to poke, you have a plan, right? You're gonna hit her back, right? Or you just walk away, right? Either one. Um, okay. And then what's our third? What's our third priority in lane? Uh, if our second priority yeah. is. Don't let them do what they want to do. What's our third priority? Do what we want to do? Yes, right? We do what we want to do, right? So um, here, I think we have our first step kind of down, right? We are really looking to get every single piece of farm we can get. But the issue is that you are, while you're doing this, the next step is kind of making sure you don't fall into uh, their win condition for lane, right? Which is poke. Um, yeah. 
So the oh my gosh, she has pressed the attack. I just noticed that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of our problem in lane is uh, avoiding what they want to do. And then honestly, uh, the second priority and the third priority sometimes go hand in hand because uh, Nami's sustain is going to counter their poke, right? So um, you can sometimes mix the two together. But in lanes, something like uh, like Blitzcrank, right, where you have to dodge hook, that'll definitely be that'll definitely uh, <clears throat> be like a priority over you trying to poke them. You know what I'm saying? Or you trying to trade with them? Don't get hit. Don't get hit by hook, right? Um, so yeah, that's kind of the idea. Is that uh, <clears throat> it looks like you're really trying to um, get all the all this farm, which is good, but then we are getting hit by what they want to do, right? Um, I think that's kind of the step you need to work on. So uh, okay. first is, you know, champ select, you look at the matchup, you say, what do we want to do? What do they want to do? And then you play accordingly, right? So every time they want to poke, you trade back and you're good to go, right? Every time they walk up and you have Nami wave, you can trade. Wait, did Nami just die? Oh, she has arrow, doesn't she? Yeah, he just dies. So not much you can do. Um, it's kind of not your fault there. But now, okay, we're okay. Uh, they hit dragon and then it's just like... Uh, Feels bad, right? So we're stuck in this situation where we don't have any agency in lane and we don't have any money because um, the matchup was not really uh, analyzed well enough, I would say. Right, what do you think? Yeah, 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 I agree. Right, so anytime you have a uh, sustain, you want to trade. And then what I, mean, what I mean by sustain is like not Alistar passive sustain, but like Nami sustain, right? Or Soraka yeah, yeah, yeah. or Sona, anything that's like anything that when you see it on the other team, you think to yourself, that's cancer, right? Like, I don't want to land against this. Um, that's what you want to trade with. When it comes to something like Tarek, uh, if you are going to trade, you better trade evenly so that your small sustain is going to win out in the long run, right? Okay, so what's going on here? So it looks like there's an all-in happening. Oh, you guys can win this, but Nami ran, I think, so that's kind of awkward. Um, you got to run since 1v2. You can kite in your minions, you kill Janna. Oh, what happened here? All right, let's talk about this. <coughs> What's going yeah. on in this fight? Explain to me while this is happening. Uh, I go for Ash, okay. and then Nami swings around. She she flashes, I think, uh, Ash arrow or something like that, and then uh, yeah, she just takes a long way around as I'm already in. So. Um... Okay, so uh, in terms of, you know, uh, trade, catch, poke, all in, tell me what's going on at first and then later. Uh, they catch Nami out. I assume she was going to ward or something. And then uh, I try to all in, but it's just me 1v2 at that point. And then, yeah, they just all in me. Right. So... Because it's 1v2, you lose all in, right? Mm -hmm. And if it's 2v2, do you win all in? Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, how, do you, how do you know? You have to have a reason. Like we say, um, you know, if you're playing Alistar, you win all in because it's matchup dependent, right? So if we're 2v2 here and we're all inning, how do we know we win? There always uh -huh. has to be a reason, right? There always has to be a reason. All right. So like if they won their all in, they would say something like, we landed arrow on Nami and killed her. Okay, yeah. So for us, what would that be? Uh, well, I mean, I thought it the Condemn was like, I was like, if I land this Condemn, like, that's it. But... But, you know, how do you know that's not it? Do you do what, you know, the reason why the Condemn, even though it hit Ash, you lost is why. Because uh, Nami wasn't in the fight. Right, it's 1v2, right? How can you win 1v2? Yeah, yeah. It's impossible. Uh, so yeah, you should automatically lose this, right? Um, which yeah, is kind of what's going on. Is that we automatically lose um, even though uh, we got the Condemn off, right? Um, and there's literally no way for her to help, right? Yeah. yeah. And we also miss Bubble too. So um, Bubble and Condemn is your... Uh, you need to land your abilities, you know. In a 2v2 all-in, how do you know who wins? When it's not matchup, when it's not clear to the matchup, right? It's whoever hits more shit, right? So yeah. if they can land arrow, if they can land tornado, 
if they have good value on your Janna ult, right? Those are all good reasons for them to win all in. And then for you guys, it's if you land Condemn, if you land Bubble, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, right? Condemn and Bubble are the big ones, right? So, yeah. Um, and then, uh, of course, you have no Nami ult because she's not level 6, right? But uh, that's the problem with this fight is that uh, we tried the 1v2, right? And then you can actually even, uh, if you want to be more advanced, um, which I think we don't, we shouldn't focus on now, but let's say if you have a minion wave here and you are baiting them because they know they win 2v1, you can use your minions to act as like another person because they're so strong. Right? That's why I was like, you can actually yeah. kill Diana here if you just keep kiting because uh, the minions are going to turn, look at the minions, the minions are turning around and they're going to kill her. Um, and this is, this is almost close because the minions are hitting Ash, but... I would say don't focus on the, that idea of minions. You need to focus on this idea of, um, you know, uh, who wins fights and how do you know? You have to be able to you have to be able to say it before it happens, right? Okay. Otherwise, you know, why are you fighting, right? So the idea of we hit condemn is uh, kind of correct, but not fully there. We're missing the part of uh, they have more people, right? More people is win. That's what I want you to think. Um, and they have yeah. more people because Nami had to go that way, so. Um, you so, have to run away here. So basically, uh, I was good up in, like, I landed the Condemn, I was good there, but I should have just left after that. Uh, like, right, you, need, you guys need out, right? Um, yeah, because yeah. you can't, you can't, like you can't right fight there, one v I should have right? just... Yeah, and Nami, Nami can't really, you know, walk, walk that way, right? Um, she's gonna, they're just gonna turn around and kill her. So, um, not much you can do. You just have to not fight that, right? Okay. It was like, essentially, what was the what was the chance? If you play that fight a hundred times, how many times do you win? Uh, none. I'll yeah, I'll agree. I'll say zero. Be just because it's two v one, right? That's what I want you to think. Yeah, yeah. They the people with more the team with more people is gonna win every time. Oh my god, you can actually gotta kill her. Oh 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 my god! Wait, the tower didn't cancel the auto attack. Oh my god, it just went through. Hot damn. Um. Well, I guess you guys kill her. So there's that. But I think the uh, kind of, you know, big idea is the matchup, right? Which is the majority of the yeah, rank. Yeah. But even then, um, the lower the rank is, the less matchup matters, right? So I think, you know, through our mid-game play, we can uh, beat what happened in lane, right? Um, so, okay, what's going on here? Pantheon tried to ulti, whatever. We're just farming, sure. Um, Craig's is going to hurt a lot if you try to do Craig's. Your Nami is, like, not here for some reason. It's just kind of awkward. Um, only because they're bothering us here. You need Nami here. Oh, okay, nice dodge. Uh, wow, this guy is dying. Uh, oh no, don't do that. Oh, you gotta run. Oh no. So what happened here? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I shouldn't have went in on that. Yeah, how do we know? I, at the the point where uh, Pantheon not only uh got flashed on his jump, but also got knocked up afterwards right well uh the bigger there's another reason that's uh self-sufficient which is how do we kill her uh condemn and i can't land that because she's in the middle i would say you know you you need like uh three auto attacks and a condemn or something like that right and i have no idea how yeah. we're gonna get that right uh, I don't even know how yeah. we're gonna get a condemn. And then we also, you know, she also has an ulti, I guess. So uh, even 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 without her ulti, though, I, I would say I have no idea how we kill her, right? So um, the idea I think behind uh, you trying to fight is different from the matchup, right? The matchup is like, oh, we should trade, don't get poked, right? Uh, when it comes to fighting, I think that you should make your mindset that um, you only want to fight when you have a good reason to. Right when it's clean, that's what you want. Is that every fight you take should be uh, good? So what would be the reason for this fight? We don't we don't have a reason, right? Is that uh, yeah. we're looking for two v two, but we have no HP. <clears throat> yeah. So even though it's not like either side has more people, uh, we just have no HP, so we can't win, right? Um, HP is always gonna be relevant, right? Um, so when you are looking to fight, well, at least on Vayne, right? Uh, it's good that you're looking for the condemn. But I think there are, uh, and it's also a, p a part of how you can win when there are even numbers, right? Land more stuff. But I think you're uh, missing the other big piece of information, which is like, oh, we don't have less people or uh, we don't have enough HP or something like that, right? So in this case, uh, I think we're just done in here. Yeah. What happened here? Honestly, uh, the stuff that happened earlier 
is kind of messing up what's happening now. So I wouldn't worry about this too much, right? Because they're not actually going to get anything off killing you here. Um, but it is kind of tilting, you know? It's just like, oh, they're just coming for me now. Um, so yeah, I would say don't worry about that death. It was just, uh, they had a good arrow. And our mistakes earlier kind of, you know, led up to that point. So that's not something yeah. you want to worry about too much. Um, okay, something like this, right? Is something you want to worry about, right? Um, how come we don't want to uh, chase him, I guess? Uh, I mean, exactly what happened. Right, you don't you don't know where they are. So I'm actually surprised you didn't ulti. Yeah. Uh, but looks like uh, they just died of Pantheon out. Oh my god, he gets away, doesn't he? Oh, okay, he's dying. Uh, nice. Looks like this fight's going to turn out well because someone blew up and Tom Kedge is top. Tom Kedge is here, whatever. Uh, we can fast forward. They are just going to run away, sure. Um, so yeah, I think that fight was similar, but it turned out okay, right? Um, similar in that I'm not really sure what your reasons for fighting are. Or rather, um, you have to have a good reason to hit someone. Like, here's a reason. It's free. They have no response. That would be a reason. Yeah. yeah. Another one is we want to trade. So that would be another good reason. Right. We have more people. So we're trying to all in. Or we're trying to die. Right. That would be another reason. But uh, yeah. if you cannot come up with a reason, come up with a reason, then you know it's not a good idea. Right. Um, like here we in team fights, we say we can hit the closest guy because no one can threaten us. That would be a reason. Right. It's free damage. Um, but I think for us, there are a lot of times when we try to. Um, kind of fight and it, it goes south you know um yeah oh no he's gonna ulti oh no he oh what you don't even need it <laughs> is that he was really real? fed oh okay that's just unfortunate yeah i think we should um take a look at a different replay though now because this is just like uh it's just yeah, yeah, us now point, it's, now it's kind of warped. the game is warped sleep. unless this happens every time then uh we can take a look at it but i think taking a look at a different laning phase would help yeah too. yeah um, which one of these do you think? Uh, pick the go with the win for the Quinn Thresh. All right, let's see. Let's take a look at this. And that's, so so far, that's one of the reasons why I like Quinn as well is the uh, like even if I like don't win lane, like not necessarily you know getting crapped on, but as long as uh, I don't feed or something in lane. Mid game, I can usually apply enough pressure to the side lanes and still be in team fights. So that's like what I abuse as Quinn. Interesting, interesting. I hope we'll see some of that because uh, you know maybe I can learn something and uh, try Quinn out later. Um, so in terms of you know uh, how we categorize our bot lane, um, what is Alistar Kaisa and what is Quinn Thresh? They're Look all in. We're all in. Hmm. If you have a skill shot dependent well, actually, support. Yeah, no, we can we can uh, poke and trade better than they can. Like uh, I have my range skill shot, uh, and I can also hit her through minions. And then of course Thresh doesn't have to follow up on his um, hook. Okay, let's focus on supports only. Cause that clarifies okay. things a lot. Um, and supports are usually um, the support, you know, kind of category wall usually determine how the lane plays out. You know how like Nami tells you that you want to trade even though you're playing Bane, right? Uh, so yeah, yeah. in terms of supports only, right? Um, how do you guys want to play this out? What is, what is Alistar? He's 100% like all in. Agreed, right? Because he has a stun that can't be dodged, point and click uh, combo, right? And then what is Thresh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, range, we can poke slash trade better than them. So, when you think of poke, what do you think of in lane? Uh, I mean, like, just, uh, like, Jenna, for example. She's, right. She can hit. Jenna, something like Jenna, right? Something like um, Zyra, right? Or Bran, or Zera, right? What do these three have in common, or four? Um, they have damage that has no response, right? So if Zerath yeah, hits okay. you with the Q, you're like, how do I, how do I hit back? You can't, right? So poke implies you can hit them and they can't respond. So do we have that? Uh, no. Right, I agree. We don't have that uh, because if Thresh auto attacks, uh, they're gonna walk up, 
right? So that's a response. Um, yeah. How about uh, 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 in terms of trading? How, how do you know what side wants to trade? What's an example of good trade in lane from any champion that you've seen? Uh, I mean, Thresh's auto, with if he's got the, the flay leveled up at level 1, is pretty decent trade. Um, this is actually very true, which is auto attack flay, right? This is also a trap, yeah. because what happens if you do that at level 2? Uh, level 2, yeah, yeah, he's getting engaged on. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna turn into an all in because then Alice is gonna be like, "Well, yeah. let's go." Um, so while this is true, uh, I'm gonna tell you to ignore it for now, right? Okay. Um, and if he goes for it, you can say, "Okay, that's good," but um, that's not something you should focus on because it's actually like a niche case, right? Like Zyra Khan is all in. Um, like Zyra Khan is like a a, a, a a special bot lane. You know what I'm saying? Like Thresh's level one is yeah. kind of special, right? So. I would not worry about that too much, but um, let's say levels one to five. Overall, what would Thresh's categorization be? All in. Um, so if Thresh misses hook, right? Does he win all in? No. If he lands hook, does he win all in? Yes. Well, what if he lands it on Alstar? Uh, no. Right. So it's not a hundred percent certain. It's actually less certain than not, right? That uh, you yeah. went all in. So I would say anything with skill shot CC is something like catch, right? Because um, maybe if he okay. hooks Kaisa, you guys can do a quick trade and get out, right? Um, okay. But it's not really all in. You know what I'm saying? It can be all in if you land the catch on the enemy to carry, like you were playing with uh, Nami. You go for a bubble. You guys pop your ulties and you go in, right? That could be yeah. uh, an example of how catch can turn into all in, but uh, it never starts as all in. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So um, when it comes to all in, who wins? They do. Right. So then the question is, why do we ever pick Thresh? Uh, the plays. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that is true, but um. <laughs> One of the, the reasons why we pick these skill shot supports, like, why would we pick Morgana? If not for the shield, right? Ignore the shield part. Why would we pick Morgana? Uh, or Blitzcrank. Why do we pick Blitzcrank? The picks. Right. You can um, catch from a distance, right? It's fucking yeah. huge. Right? This hook range is yeah. like 25% uh, or 50% bigger than Alistair combo, right? Um, so what does that mean for us in lane? How do we play? Uh, we play at that range. Um, so if you want to fight, what has to happen first? Uh, he has to land hook. Yes. If you ever want to fight, he has to land hook first. Every time. Alright, this is the same with Bard. This is the same with Morgana. This is the same with Blitzcrank. It doesn't matter what it is, because what happens if they all in you, and then they flash his hook? You automatically lose, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, in terms of now that we know what we're supposed to do in lane, are we doing anything that we shouldn't be doing in lane? Uh, yep. <laughs> what are we doing? What's wrong? I'm going in, stepping in for the autos on Kaiser. Right, and why is that? Why would we say that's not correct according to the matchup? Because we're not waiting for a thresh to hook. Right, we're not. Nowhere in our matchup does it say we want to trade, right? Or poke. Yeah. Which is what we're trying to do. So. Um, that's one of the reasons why we're missing health, but um, the more advanced case of doing it is uh, on any matchup, you can hit them if they're trying to hit a minion, but I think we're not there yet. So pretty much always play with the matchup, okay? Gotcha. Because there's always there's always an exception to every rule, right? Um, yeah. That's going to be like true for pretty much everything that you hear in League, right? There's always an exception, so you can hit him if he's going for a minion, but... The reason why we don't tell people to um, practice this is because more times than not, um, they're going to punish themselves, right? Because uh, uh, there's a reason why it's a rule that you play for the matchup. Because, you know, you get hit by their range minions, right? There are a lot of reasons that this could be bad. So we always try to make sure that the basics are down first, right? So if your matchup doesn't yeah. say trade, don't trade. Okay, that's what I want you to think. Um, okay. If our matchup says all in, you want to look for the all in all day, right? Um, Basically, only play according to your matchup, and you will pretty much win every single lane. I promise, right? 
Um, okay. okay. I promise that's what's gonna happen, right? Um, like if I can play and challenger and just do laning with just matchup and win lane and challenger, that makes then and it goes to show that you can do that for every single rank, right? Yeah. And it'll be good to go, right? Um, you don't need to do anything special, I promise, right? Only go for uh, what your matchup says, right? Um, so let's say Thresh never lands hook and Alistar never goes for an all-in. Then what do you do? Just farm and... Yeah, and just right. CS. Yeah. That's your first priority, right? Is you want to get a uh, perfect farm. So uh, basically what we really want to build is consistency in lane. Right, like if we get out of lane with 100 farm at 10 minutes, how good is that? Uh, how much? 100 farm at 10 minutes. That's pretty good. That's, All right, give that an really A+. Plus, right, that's, an, that's ideal, yeah. right? Zero, 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 come out with 100 farm at 10 minutes, that's A+. Plus, right, um, that's all we care about. Anything else, you should have an assist, a kill, or uh, maybe extra wards, maybe you can push them, but we never want to die, right? Unless you kill them in a gank or something like that, right? Or they have a TP yeah. play and you kill them and then you die, right? That's the only time you want to die. Um, so you should think to yourself that getting perfect farm is already winning, okay? That's what I want you to think. Yeah. You don't have to try and do anything crazy in lane. Um, because, you know, if your support is not having a good day or the auto field or something, it's not like you can win every single lane phase, right? It doesn't really make sense. Um, you actually had the right idea when you said trade, though, uh, back earlier, because uh, Quinn is definitely going to out-trade Kai'Sa. Um, oh Jesus! Wait, let's watch this sequence. So yeah, that's really good. Um, but for now, I think stick with the support matchup, unless you're really confident of the AD carry uh, matchup as well, right? Um, because okay. uh, so support matchup always comes first, right? So let's say you're playing Quinn into Vayne. Who trades better? The Quinn. All right. Okay. Now let's say you have a Thresh. Um, so Quinn Thresh versus Nami Vayne. All of a sudden, you don't want to trade anymore, right? Just because of the support. Yeah. So support yeah. comes first, always. And then yeah, if you sure. say to yourself, you know, I'm playing Quinn, I know how to play Quinn. Uh, Quinn's always going to win trades, and both supports are not trading supports, then, you know, we're going to look for trades. Then that's fine, okay? Um, but always make sure that you're, you got your support matchup down, right? Always, 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 always. And then he lands yeah. hook, and then you guys are going to go ham. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Thresh is going to die for a good cause. Oh, goodbye, Thresh. Nice try on the flash, whatever. Wait, Kais is gonna kill herself. Oh, yeah. where's their jungler? Hello? I think you can win this because she has no minions. I don't know what she's doing. You just kill her. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I did cannon minion and everything. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so if we wanna talk about this, you know, how do you know you win this? There are two reasons. Uh, I have the better wave. Oh okay, yeah, that's the biggest reason, right? She's fighting in minions. And then what? Um, I have flash heal. Uh, let's pretend she has flash heal too. Okay. Uh, I mean my blind. Like right. That. Uh, your all in is better if she can't land her Q and her W. So I don't know what she's smoking, right? Um, yeah. Interesting idea by Kaisa, but she just dies. Nice. Um, so far so good, right? Everything is happy. Uh, as long as we are getting our farm, you know, uh, and we're not getting all ins, we are. A plus, okay. You, you should consider that to be uh, like diamond level, okay. Is if you can do those two things, you're a better laner than uh, everyone at this rank and everyone up at the next rank, okay. That's what I want you to think. So if you really want to work on laning, this is what you do. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the next part is how do we not die to a gank, right? So they have a Rengar. We should be okay until like level six or something like that. But um, honestly, we haven't really. Been able to focus on uh, adding a jungle into the mix yet, I think. Yeah. So, uh, if you, uh, the, the, the base idea is that if you think that you can get ganked, you should play safe. Right. Um, so, let's say Alistar combos you, then you say your plan is take a lantern. That's fine. Right. Uh, but if you don't have an answer to Alistar combo, right, let's say we're playing Nami. We have a Nami on our side and uh, they have Alistar and Elise. We're going to die because we have no flash. Then you should be like, don't get in range of Alistar combo. Right. Um, oh, this is a hook, isn't it? Oh, look at these catches. Free! So what's the order on uh, Quinn abilities, do you think? Always Q first? Uh, Almost always, yes. 
but sometimes E first out of ulti or something like that, right? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, I had a similar idea when I was uh, trying her out the other day. So. But yeah, I've had some failed ones where I was like, man, if I would have just queued first uh, out of ulti, and so that's when I, I pretty much almost always queue first now. Interesting. Interesting. Right. Um. I hate how her E makes her like go in or something like that. It, like yeah. really strange. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, okay, we're looking for what is this? We're looking for a catch on hook, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, okay, nice try. You push us in, hit the tower a few times. You're gonna base after this wave. Wait, hold on, what happened here? Okay, you guys are really going for the tower, I guess. Um, yeah, jungle was mid, uh, and then Alstar is still walking back. Okay, so what happens if they TP on you? Uh, yeah, if they TP, we probably get a bad day. Right, it could be dicey, right? So, okay, um. If you want to talk about back timings, I, was, I also will not worry about this yet. But I will tell you to prioritize basing instead of tower damage. Okay? okay. Like, uh, if you have... So this is the correct response, right? So ideally speaking, um, should they base, you push this in, you base. Okay. We'll say that's good. Um, the better option is you hit the tower, you clear, and then base. That's S. Okay? The first option is A+. Plus. The second option is S. And then okay. this option where we stay, we'll call that F, right? Because we get punished. <laughs> so um, you want to, if you're not sure if you should hit the tower, just base, okay? Okay. Or do something else. Um, yeah. Because this is always, almost always going to be a trap in solo queue, right? TP, Rengar ulti, mid TP, it could be anything, really. Um, and your yeah. team's like not even, your team's in base, right? So don't feel pressured to get their tower, right? Just focus on your CS and the matchup, right? That's all I want you to, oh, actually, here they come, right? Um, yeah. You should be okay because it's a really bad gank, I think. Um, you can just flash out, so you're good. But uh, if it was any better, you know, we could have issues. Wait, we're not dying, are we? We better not be dying. Um, okay, yeah. So that's that's kind of what happens, is that if it was any better executed or they had a TP in the mix or anything like that, could have been a throw. Yeah. Right? If we had died, that's dragon. And if it was Inferno Dragon, everyone gets upset, right? So, yeah. um, oh, actually, wait, we talk wait, 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 what happened here? <laughs> What should we do Rengar's, instead of... Uh, Rengar's in the bush. Just leave. Right, right, right. What, what should we do here? Just Rico. Yeah, you need a base. You need a base. Um, so if you can push it into their tower, you base. That's what I want you to think. That's the basic. Okay. okay. Like, that's what I did. Okay, until uh, like 800 points challenger. And then I was like, I can hit the tower a few extra times and then base. Okay. So you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. You just need a base. That's the, the basic idea is push it into the tower and base. Right. Um... So yeah, I think we just randomly die because we didn't base, uh, but now we know. And let's see, uh, okay, now we get into the mid-game stuff. I think it's the first time we get to see the mid-game stuff. Um, and then after this game, I guess we'll check out the one you were uploading earlier. Yeah, it should be done. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so uh, tell me what your thought process here. Uh, there probably wasn't a whole lot. I was just still farming. Okay, here's how to fix that. Um, what is it? What is an AD carry's job in the mid game? Um, uh, take objectives. Okay, let's say everyone runs mid. How do you get tower? Uh, no clue. I agree. I have no idea. <laughs> so, um, now what's our what's our job then? Remember how we we're like talking about lane priority and you're like, let's get the tower as number two. I was like, I have no idea how you do that. Right, so what is something we can always get every game? Uh, CS? Yes, money, yeah. dude. Money, 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 money. Yeah. Your job is to make money. You're an AD carry, right? If you yeah. were strong in the mid game, that'd be fucking broken, right? Um, we're late game scaling, which is why we throw that shit bot lane, right? That's just the meta for like the last five years or whatever it is, right? So yeah. what are we doing here that's not, what, that's not along those lines? Okay. okay. How much money do we make going here? Uh, none. I agree. We make zero. So, what can we do instead of running mid? Uh, or I would say first is why? Uh, in what situation would we go mid? Uh, maybe if the laner was like where Cass is right now, like pushing. Okay, if you think you can catch them, a yeah. good roam. Um, what else? Uh, if Cass is already like at their tower. Why would you go mid though? Uh. What's the reason, take, right? So, take, if they're at Cass's tower, we're ganking. If Cass is at their tower, what are we doing? We're taking their tower. 
Mm, let's shelve that idea for now. Okay. Uh, okay. But I would say the right idea is counter ganking. Okay. They're gonna engage on cast. The reason why we can't hit the tower is because they're gonna engage on us, or they have wave clear, right? Uh, I want you to think that hitting the tower is a noob trap. Okay. Not, right. It's a noob trap until you get to diamond, and then we review the idea again. Okay. Uh, okay. But hitting the tower is a noob trap. Like we saw down here when you were hitting the tower, I would say that's not a good idea, right? Uh, you only hit the tower when they're all dead. Okay, that's what I'm going to think. Or they have okay. no way to stop you, right? Literally yeah. no way. Like they have a fucking Soraka and a Sivir, and their jungler is top lane. There's literally no way for them to stop you, right? Um, that's the only time I'll say, oh yeah, hit the tower. Yeah, it's PvE, right? You're playing Farmville, and there's no way, there's, there's no interaction with other humans, okay? That's when you can hit the tower. Otherwise, it's a noob trap. Right. Um, so reasons you go mid um, is you want to gank. Sure, you're playing Quinn. You want to counter gank. That's more advanced. And what's the nine times out of ten what's going to happen mid? Uh, or you don't want to go mid. Team fighting. Yeah, everyone's fucking fighting, right? And you can come help, right? If the fight is relatively even or you're winning, you go help, right? Um, yeah. What if you know someone died immediately? Uh, just. Leave it. Go. Yeah, you don't go, go help. There's lanes. nothing. There's nothing to help. You either say we gotta defend tower or you go farm bot, right? But here, uh, what are we missing out on by doing this? Uh, money. CS. Right, right. What can we do instead? Let's say right here. What can we do instead? Go take Gromp. Scuttle. Right. The scuttle here. You can say Gromp because Olaf's top side. Or who's your jungler, right? Olaf's top side, right? Um. You have wards, so the instant you see Kaisa, you can go stick a bunch of wards in the jungle, right? Um, anything like that. So, uh, the reason why we don't want to go mid is because this happens. They have yeah. wave clear, they have engage, it doesn't matter what it is, they're just going to stop you, right? Um, which is why hitting the tower is a noob trap. So we're coming back bot, but now we have like 50% health, right? So that's kind of awkward. Um, yeah, yeah. And not only that, but we lost two minions and we lost our opportunity to pressure the bot lane when we were already ahead. If that makes sense. So this yeah. is what I want you to think is that your number one priority is you're trying to make money. Always, 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 always. And you lose here because they have a jungler. So yeah. um, uh, remember, what's the reason that you fight? Uh, if I mean, if it's obvious, I'm going to win. Or, yeah, or yeah, no, what's, no, what's, what's the reason? Thresher. Say again? Thresher? Uh, you can fight without Threshold out of lane. Right. So how do you know that uh, you're going to beat Kaisa 1v1, I guess? Uh, if I can see everybody else? Um, okay, knowing where everyone else is, uh, good information to have so you can decide whether or not you want to fight. But let's say you're both full HP, it's a 1v1. No one else in this game exists. How do you know you win? If... What would be your main reason? If if I land skill shots, my Q. Uh, Who wins all in? She does. Um, at this point in time, I would say it's you. Yeah. Right. Um, because Kaisa needs items to do yeah. something. Right. So she actually doesn't win all in yet. She wins all in when she can get to what point? When she can auto attack Q you and you die. Right. Yeah. Um, so right now we still win all in, and. So your reason would be matchup alone. We win. We win one v one. So I can do this, and then uh, what makes this dicey? The Why do you not get to kill her? The ringer. Okay, so numbers advantage, right? They have yeah. more people. You're gonna lose. You're always gonna lose. That's what I want you to think. Because in every example so far, you've lost when you yeah. have less people, right? Um, and then what else besides numbers advantage? Uh, health. Yes, you're missing HP. So. Um, uh, HP itself is really dicey, but it looks like you're almost winning this, right? But uh, they just have more people, so you just die, right? Um, that's the idea, is that uh, I think every time you try and start a fight, something kind of goes wrong, right? You need to uh, be able to come up with a reason why you want to fight, and what's their counter reason? Like, how, what, how are they going to react, right? How many people do they have is usually the number one teller of whether or not you can fight, right? Because I think a lot of times... We kind of uh, fight, but there's, but to me, it seems like there's no reason why you win. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. Is that uh, every time I'm thinking, wait, how do you win this? And then you die, right? Because there's no way to win. 
That's the idea. So what do you do instead of fighting? What's our number one priority? Fun. Yes. So, okay, uh, this comes to another question, which is uh, the idea of uh, 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 pushing waves in the mid-game. So why would someone push the wave past the river in the mid-game? If I told you that's what you want to do, why would that be? Because uh, it'll eventually come back to your side. Yes, 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 yes. So that's how you get perfect farm. That's all you need to do. You run bot, push it past the river, do something else, right? Um, I think here you guys can win this because 3v3, right? Oh, wait, we missed something already. Yeah, yeah, I missed uh, it's, Olaf is too good though. The matchup, right? We know based on matchup that uh, we're going to win this. Olaf is really strong early. Yeah. Um, so, oh, this is kind of dicey though. Uh, we just kill all that star, sure. Um, so that was a good find. That was a really good find. And we had equal numbers of people there. So uh, based on the matchup alone, we knew we were going to win. And really good positioning, I think. Yeah. Um, okay, so <laughs> like you said, this side lane pressure is really good. How do you know you win this? Uh, 2v1. Yeah, more people. Always win. It doesn't matter that your top laner is standing with no HP. You have heal, right? So uh, I think Aurelia actually killed herself by going back in. But um, even though she was losing that fight so badly, you're going to win that. Um, yeah. yeah. So yeah, uh, I don't know what she was doing, but that should have been free, whatever. Um, that was a good idea, right? Because you have more people. You always win when you have more people. That's what I want you to think. Okay, here. Same thing. Who has more people? Uh, we do. And how, how many people are here? <laughs> the whole team. Uh, well, how many people on your team? How many people on their team? Uh, four immediately and two of theirs. Right, right, but missing people count on their team, right? Okay, it was, so, so then the entire team, both sides. Uh, you see an interview mid. I, I saw. I, I, oh, yeah, I, I yeah, froze yeah. at the wrong spot. So, uh, this is gonna be three v four v three, assuming no TP. Yeah. Right. Um, and I'll say TP doesn't count here because this can go really fast. Right. Uh, uh another kind of advanced concept, but um, TP counts as a person. Right. But if the fight lasts less than four seconds, then TP doesn't count. Right. Um, okay. Yeah. So in this case, I think this fight's gonna go really fast. So TP might not matter, right? Oh, actually, it might matter because uh, they get TP here, and this is taking too long. But um, you have more people. If, even if Rengar shows up, you still have more people. So that's how we know this is good, right? We don't even yeah. have to watch, and we already know this works. Yeah. Right. Isn't that isn't that like kind of seeing the future? Isn't that like if you could do that in your game, it would be like really easy, right? Yeah. So that's what we're trying to. That's what we're trying to uh, kind of uh, 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 make a habit. Make this into a habit for you is uh, making sure that you know the reason why you win. Anything, any kind of fight is, oh, we have more people. Uh, we are matchup dependent. You know, our matchup wins all in or uh, anything like that, right? Uh, when it comes to levels and items, that will matter one out of 10 times, okay? It's usually going to be the number of people and uh, matchup, right? But basically, number of people, I think, is your biggest issue, right? I think the other times okay. when you lost fights is like, they just, they just have more people, right? So uh, when it comes to uh, counting people, People that are not on the screen count. See that? That dude is just fucking hiding in yeah. the bush, right? People who are not on the screen count. So, um, we kind of die here because we're not really expecting him here. But, um, let's see. What can we do here? And then, uh, okay. After this fight is done, what do you do? Uh, either mid or recall. Or probably right. just recall because my HP. Your job is farm all day. And then, is it obvious you can get any objectives here? Uh, no. Agree, because if you push bot, what happens? I mean, they'll defend. Anivia, Anivia does what? Just fucking presses wait, wait. off. Right? Yeah. So, nothing you can do, unless you can die. And I don't think you can die, right? So, um, the reason why we die here is, sure, we can say we didn't know where the trundle is and whatever, but their big reason is that there's nothing to do here. Nothing yeah, to do here. Yeah, shouldn't have right? been there in the first place. Exactly. So, um, this is what I want you to think, is uh, set your priorities in lane, right? Your number one is farming. Your number two is making sure you don't fall into their matchup advantage and number three is doing your own matchup right which is uh, yeah. if you have nami you want to trade right they have alistar you don't want to all in etc and then mid game what's your number one priority uh still farm right money only and yeah. you already know that you know how to make maximum amount of money by pushing it past the river right you tell me that yourself yeah um and then if you want to fight you have to have what to fight uh, either more numbers or their lower HP. Something like that, right? You have to have a reason, though. Yeah. Right? And then if you lose the fight, you go back, you watch his replay, and you say, oh, we lost this fight because of this reason, right? That's how I know. It's because I've seen so many fights, 
and there's like a certain pattern that happens, right? I'm like, oh shit, they just have more people or we have more people, right? When I don't understand something, I'll like try and see uh, what kind of information am I not really taking in? And it's like, oh, how do we win this fight? It's because we have an extra dude, right? Um, yeah. How do you lose this fight? They have an extra dude, right? Um, right now, I want you to think that uh, numbers advantage always wins, okay? And if you want to talk about exceptions, what do you think an exception would be for numbers advantage? Uh... Can you come up with any kind of situation where the team with more people loses? They're, they're low. Okay, if they're all low, right? That would be... Uh, HP is always relevant, so that would actually be a, an important one, right? Um, what else? Uh, TP. Uh, but that counts as numbers, right? Something okay. that's not numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, tower? Yep, like tower counts as a person, right? Um, sometimes counts as a person. What else? What's the most common one? Common way you've seen a 4v5 go wrong? Jungle? Wait, jungle? What do you mean? Uh, like, just... No vision of it? Like, not well, knowing where it's at? Uh, if you guys are 4 and they are 5, in what cases do you win? Like, you... It's... You've uh, won a 4v5 uh, before, even if you haven't realized it. What case would that be? Picks? Like, uh, Thresh catching the ADC or something with hook? Yes, something like that, right? Or, you guys are sitting in this bush, and they run past you to go to Baron. You fucking kill him. You, you kill the guy in yeah, the back yeah. or something like that, right? One shot someone. Um, other reasons could be Wombo Combo, right? That's actually more rare nowadays, but that used to happen back in the day, is Wombo yeah. Combo. Um, but uh, how often does that happen in your games? Uh, not very often. Not right, I would say like one in 10 games if, right? So that's why we don't really focus on the exceptions, right? We just want to make sure our foundations are, are solid, right? So uh, I think, you know, uh, you know, how come we got a Rengar here? Uh, I, I go into a bush. That's a big no-no with him. Right, there, I guess there are a few things we can talk about. One is... Uh, you can put a ward down, right? So you can interrupt his jump. Um, I think we missed Q, which would have saved us. And then we're sitting in a bush. But uh, I also would not worry about this because you don't play against Rengar every game, right? So don't worry about that. Make sure that your priority is to make money, right? Like this is very good. This is a 10 out of 10. But then how do we make this 11 out of 10? Uh, after that, just go to Krugs instead of going mid. Like I was well, is there another wave coming? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We're right. You push that. If you think it's safe, you push that one too. Um, and then, yes, yeah. do Krugs. But I think Dragon's up. So, yeah, you should be near Dragon. That's actually really interesting. How you can clear top and fly to Dragon. Yeah. Wow. What That's the what fuck? Like. That's actually insane. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. With Quinn, you definitely should be farming. Look at all this. You can... <laughs> Look how fast you can get places. What the heck? Um, <laughs> that's actually amazing, right? So, okay, sure. If a fight comes out, we come help. Sure. Um, you want to hit the closest guy. I don't think there are too many things we have to talk about for your fighting. Um, sure, we start Baron, right? What's the reason why we start Baron? Uh, we killed a couple of them. Right, you have more and people. I think one is jungle, yeah. Yeah, more people. More people always matters. Uh, this dude tries to stop him, nah, he's just gonna die. You're gonna lose 4v5, right? Uh, and how come we can hit the tower? Based on uh, our rules we made earlier. We have Baron, I think there's still one dead. Right, looking at this, it's PvE. Oh, uh, yeah. Couple, You're dead, yeah. right? That's the only time I want you to think we can hit the tower, right? Because remember, there was a time earlier when you guys were trying to hit the tower, and it was like, uh, kind of, kind of, what face, right? Like, here, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense, right? Um, and even if you can brute force it down, what's the more likely scenario? Uh, right here, get, you see that? Yeah, like that. Yeah, if they yeah, were exactly. up on that. Yeah, fucking Rengar comes out at that exact moment. Oh, I guess you die, and then he kills Thresh, and then uh, Kaiser can jump it. You know, this is just doesn't make sense, right? So, yeah. um, Alistar, you know, I don't know where Alistar is, but this is a fucking four man combo here, so he could be over this wall, actually, right? Um, yeah. If you can see my mouse. So, uh, that's why you don't hit tower, unless it's PvE. Um, but yeah, you guys get Baron. Um, good, good, good. You push, you take minions, right? So, I want you to think number one objective in the mid game is to make money, okay? Um, yeah. Anytime you're making money, you're doing good. That's what I want you to think. Oh, wait, let's watch this one. Oh! Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Nice, right? So, um, would you agree that every time you had less people, you lost a fight? Yeah. And every time we didn't really 
uh, accomplish our matchup, we kind of lost an advantage, like our health, right? Yes, um, yes. So those are really the things you need to focus on, is uh, the matchup in lane. And I think um, it's kind of 50-50 because uh, the first Vang game we saw, it looked all right. The second one, it was kind of like uh, not too hot, but now you know um, better about, you know, Nami matchup and stuff. You know, if you have sustain, you want to trade. And then this one looked really good, right? Um, in terms of, oh, we want to trade with Quinn because the supports don't really factor into trade and then Thresh is looking for hooks, right? Um, yeah. So those are really the big ideas. And, and in terms of uh, after mid-game, or during mid game after landing, um, you don't want to fight unless you have more people, right? That's the that's the obvious one. And then what do you do instead of that? You ask. It's always push out your lanes past the river, like you said. Your money is number one, right? So yeah. get the priorities in order and um, make sure you're not taking four v fives, right? Do you want to take a look at the game you just uploaded real quick? Uh, yes, please. Yeah, uh, let's take a look at that. So you know when. Thinking back to our earlier questions of, you know, what do you think uh, you need help on? And you were saying early laning and, you know, we're dying. Um, I think what we said does cover that, right? Where we're like, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, laning matchup is going to help your laning. And then you die because you try and fight and there's no real reason to. So um, you need to pinpoint a very good reason why you want to fight. And then if you can't, you farm, right? That's basically how it goes. Um, uh, where can we find the replay, I guess? Uh, yeah, I'll just give you... Alright, oh, there actually, it is, I yeah. Did, I just found it, right? Varus game? Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's take a look. Um, what did you record this with, by the uh, way? I do it with OBS, OBS, but that one I played around with some settings, trying to get it smaller, and it actually made it 14 gigs. So I had Jesus. to use another trial thing just to get it lower. Hot damn. Do you know about uh, Plays TV? No. Nah. Oh, Place TV is uh, uh, not not like sponsored by them or anything, but it's a really useful resource where it records your games automatically, okay. right? So you can see deaths and kills, right? So if you're saying, you know, uh, how do we analyze, you know, if we're making sure we're doing better on our mistakes, right? You go and look at your deaths and you say, um, oh, okay, how do we, why do we die to this guy? Oh, it's a fizz realm, so then more people, right? So what was the issue of map awareness, right? Okay. So we can quickly pinpoint, you know, what's going on. Oh, what happened in this case? Uh, you know, they had a TP, so um, I think we just died. <laughs> uh, and then, what, what about this one? It's like, oh, I uh, actually don't know how we die here. Oh, map awareness as well. We're just running into here. We're just like, they walk up to me. So um, what do we need to work on? We need to work on map awareness. So the same could be said with your games when you look at your deaths, right? Is That's kind of what we were doing, but yeah, we just yeah. didn't have those timestamps, right? And that's um, just plays.tv? Right. Plays.tv is uh, automatically records games for you. Um, it might not run as well as uh, some things, but I think you can like play around with settings and bitrate and all that. So, um, okay. so in this case, you know, if we lose lane, you know, um, it's probably because the matchup, right? Uh, what happened here? Okay, I guess what is Bard? Uh, he's poke. Hmm. I would say can poke, but what's his main category? Uh, roam. No, no, no. Out of the four that, uh, out of the four laning ones we talked about, because everyone can roam to an extent. Uh, I don't know. If he, I mean, he can't really. All he has is his, his stun and then his auto attacks. Right. Uh, so what skill shot CC considered as? Um, oh, catching. Picks. Yes, catch. So, um, if you want to fight with Bard, what has to happen? He has to land that Q. He goes first. He always goes first. Catch always goes first, right? So, what happens okay. here? Yeah, he misses. <laughs> we already know. So, if you try and hit not, you try and hit Jenna. We know, you know, kind of questionable, right? Yeah. So, how come you guys lose? Match up, right? Um, okay. We already know. So that's kind of how you can figure it out, is that I already knew you were going to lose when you started hitting Janna because he missed this shit already, right? It's yeah. like you're playing without another person, uh, in a way, right? Um, you're playing without a dude who... You're playing with a, with a cannon minion. He has no abilities, right? So uh, <laughs> basically, that's what went wrong in the first few minutes, is that um, we're trying to do something outside of our matchup, right? That's when you get punished, is when you try and do something outside your matchup, right? Um, Janna wants to poke, right? Bard wants to catch. So... Um, we need to make sure Bard goes first. Otherwise, we're going to lose always. 
And then how do you make sure, how do you beat Jana Pope if she just clicks on you? Uh, you trade with her. Um, do you trade, what, what, according, you know, in relation to the mini wave, where do you stand? Uh, behind it? Right. Back here. Because then your range minion is going to hit her. If you yeah. stand in the middle, you're going to lose. Even. If it's even, you're going to lose. And if you're in their wave, you're definitely going to lose, right? Um, so you want to stand behind and then hit her back, right? Um, uh, I think you just have no bard, so this is 1v2, right? So you don't, don't, you don't fight this, right? Because it's 1v2. That's how we know yeah. you lose. Wow, that's Zap. Yo, check this out. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking, oh my god. It like shaved that minion's face off. Um, Jesus, right? So basically, everything we've seen in this game was kind of covered in the other games, right? Yeah. So we know that this is a, uh, at least we know it's a consistent thing we can work on, right? Because if you work on this, it'll improve your gameplay overall, right? And you can't follow up on that, that's fine, right? You don't follow up on that. Um, similar to how Nami landed that bubble and it was in their minion wave, you can't follow up on that as vain, right? Yeah. Um, same thing. Um, you can't follow up, don't follow up. So that's fine. Uh, Probably want to avoid trading though, probably because you know they have Janna. Oh, we're gonna die here if we're not careful. Oh, we have heal, we win, right? Uh, Bard can't miss this, I hope. Oh no, what's going on? <laughs> okay, I, I think we missed Bard and Bard had no mana or yeah. something. Oh, he fucking missed too. Oh my god. Yeah, All right, whatever. It, it, Let's get past this shit. Going well and then it just I, don't, I don't know what's happening, but you already know the idea. Is play yeah. it according to the matchup, right? Um, nine times out of ten, that's how you will win lane or how you will do better in lane. Um, this is just like. Uh, just fucking dragon coming over. Oh my god, I actually can't believe that hit you. She shot what? it through the minion. dragon dude. form and it goes into the AoE. And yeah, what? I was just like, what? Dude, no, it fucking... <laughs> see these minions on top of her? Yeah. She fucking fired it over their heads or something. Look at this. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> interesting, whatever. Um, honestly, you really want to focus on the lane issues first, right? Because yeah. uh, the reason why that stuff is super important is because it'll make you low enough that they're going to dive you. Or uh, it's gonna make it so that you know, yeah. Basically, that's what's gonna happen most of the time is that you're just gonna be so low HP they're gonna come to your lane. So that's how you prevent that is make sure that we're playing match about correctly. Okay. Yeah. That's what I really want you to focus on is um, uh, in champ select, you ask yourself what category is this champion? What category is their champion? And you focus on the supports and then yeah. you play accordingly, right? If you can't hit them because Bard is not landing Q, you don't hit them. You just last hit. Okay. And you get 100 CS in 10 minutes, you say A+. plus. Okay? He misses, you don't walk up. Right? Every time we're walking up. And I think that's the uh, a core issue is that um, uh, even though, you know, we had a really good Thresh game, uh, this guy's not landing his shit, so you can't go in. Right? Thresh landed everything, so we could easily fight. Uh, yeah. Here, we just can't do anything. Oh! Okay, this could be a good catch if he's going to land this. Okay. Uh, we have no bird, though, so this could be dicey. Oh, you're going to kill this guy, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, you're gonna kill this guy, right? How do we know? How do we know? Uh, I mean, the bard ult is pretty good to engage, and then I mm -hmm. follow up with the ult, and yeah. I'll say the bard ult is less of a factor. Like, let's say you guys just walk up, and he didn't ulti. Uh, Janna being behind Jinx, like Jinx is too far forward. So if everyone lands everything, who wins? Uh, we do. And why is that? Because we have way more CC. Based on the matchup, right? We didn't, we didn't CC anything really, right? Based on the matchup, how can Janna be able to be a trade category and a poke category and oh, win all in? Yes. That's bu that's bullshit, right? Yeah. You pick that champion every time. Um, <laughs> so this that champion doesn't work that way, right? Um, so she can only poke, she can only do some trade, and then she has to get rid of the all in by using her ulti. Right, she has yeah, to run okay. away, but they fucked it up. So we already know based on matchup, right? That's that would be my reasoning is oh, I knew you won this when you hit the ulti because you guys went all in. Right, that's the idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if Bard missed, right, and you missed, you guys would lose. Right, that's yeah, yeah. It's, the the game is balanced in that way where if you guys royally screw up, you're gonna get punished. Right, so good thing you guys landed everything and then you win. Right, um, uh, I think you guys are doing dragon. Interesting. Uh, goodbye, Bard. Right, uh, Jesus, uh, whatever. Um, interesting, interesting. Oh no, what's going on here? Oh, okay, we just died. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I got, uh, I got hit by your thing. Okay, this is another idea that I want you to work on. 
Uh, okay, this is PVE, so you're hitting tower, right? Um, but then it takes so long that you shouldn't do dragon. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah. Um, uh, this is a different kind of idea. Okay, so a lot of what I said today will be applicable in the long future, but not for you right now. And this is one of those things where, okay. um, uh, remember how we're like, uh, uh, when you kill people, you can do something after, right? Like, uh, if you hit the tower, if it's PVE, they can't stop you, right? Yeah. This is true. You hit the tower because it's PVE. You can do dragon because they can't stop you. Okay, now, what happens if we try to do both? Yeah, being greedy. Right, because they, they're, they're alive. Yeah. Right? So that's why we can't do both. Um, if you really wanted to get the tower, based on what we said today, uh, what you would do is what? After you push this wave in. Uh, back. Right, that's all you need to do, I promise. Okay? Missing this first tower does, not, does nothing for your rank at all. It doesn't do anything until you're like masters, probably, right? Literally, it doesn't do anything. Don't do it, right? This is just a trap because uh, what's going to happen nine times out of ten is you guys are going to try to do something else. Someone's going to try and invade after this. Someone's not going to hit this tower. Someone's, someone's going to do, someone's going to run mid and then everything goes to, the, to, to disaster, right? You know, Zoe gets two kills, what happens? Everyone gets upset, right? Oh, actually, it's going to be like three kills or something, right? So, um, and then they're, they're going to get mid because it's PvE or something like that, right? So it really is just chaos 24-7, right? So that's yeah. how you avoid it, okay? Um, hitting tower is noob trap. That's what I want, to, what, what I want you to think, right? right. Is um, if you, you can hit the tower if it's PvE, but base if you just push it into that wave. And you should be happy with that, right? Um, so yeah, coming bot, pushing it out, very good, right? We just want to care about making money. Uh, if we run mid, it's because a fight is going on, which I think is going on. I think someone just died. So uh, this fight looks really dicey. Uh, okay. Okay, sure. Um, is there anything we could have done better, I, t I guess, in terms of mechanics? Uh, not use that slow to try to CC Janna. Right, right, right. And why is that? Uh, save it for the burst on the uh, his stacks. Right, that's how you all in. Right, It's very yeah. using blowing up stacks. So you already know. That's good. Um, we don't really have to tell you anything about that. It's really the other. St oh my god, it's really the other stuff you should be working on, right? That that which we already talked about today. Okay, I think yeah. you're using the base here, but um, yeah. Right, money is your priority, right? So when you see Jinx pushing bot, you're like, I need to go get that money, okay? Money is a priority. Yeah, okay. Um, no fighting unless you have more people, okay? That's the idea. We need to make sure that we're not uh, kind of uh, somehow dying. I have no idea, right? Somehow, ran somehow randomly die. That's kind yeah. of what we're trying to prevent. Like here, how do we know we want to fight? Uh, well, uh, I shouldn't have been because J4 was leaving. They have more people. Yeah. Right. Um, because your bard is not here, so you know you lose this 100%. Right. Um, even if you had hit that, you're gonna lose this 100%. Right? Yeah. So uh, it doesn't matter how this goes. Even if you get away with your life. You lost your flash, you lost HP, they're gonna do dragon, right? It's just not good, right? Yeah. So this is the idea. The money is number one in the mid game. Unless you see a fight you can help, you don't go, okay? That's what I want you to think. Okay. Um, that'll fix all your fighting issues, I think. Is that if you're not sure, you go you go push out a wave, right? You push out your lane um, and you're good to go, right? Um, I think we'll end this by trying to show some examples, right? How's it sound? Okay, yeah. So let's take... Uh, uh, I guess Varus, right? Since you play Varus. So we are in the mid game, I hope. What is this? 18 minutes, 15 minutes? Okay, in the mid game, right? So we're in the mid game. Um, let's show us from when we come out of base. And I think that's most effective. Um, running mid. Okay, so we ran mid because we think a fight's going on, right? Run mid. I don't care how this fight goes, it doesn't really matter. Um, we're just fast forward and then it's PvE because they died, yeah, yeah. right? So that's when you can hit the tower, right? That's one of the examples of when you can hit the tower is PvE, right? So uh, after the tower breaks, what do you do? Your money is your number one objective, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to go take top. Um, we take top and then what? Don't hit the tower, right? Because that's a noob chat, like we discussed, right? Yeah, we're yeah. running. It doesn't even matter. We have flash and we're really strong. We're six kills. Does not matter. Okay, I promise you. Don't hit that tower. That's a trap. So what do you do instead? Okay, make more money, dude, right? We're, yeah. just, we're just on the track of making money. So, sure, we take red and then uh, go mid. It doesn't matter. Uh, as long as we're pushing it past the mid wave, we are very happy, okay? Um, and then we can base. So that's... Look at, look at our CS at this point, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what I want you to think. 
is this is all you care about we didn't fight for like a minute and 30 seconds right we didn't even see another soul on the map okay we just want to make sure that we're generating money for our team um because that's how you're useful right and then here i think we do some kind of rotation after pushing right let me see i think uh, oh, okay our jungler took this wave whatever uh shit happens we're gonna run into the jungle we're gonna rotate top sure um but the real idea is you're just pushing right and then uh oh uh does this look good does this look good uh no yeah i don't think so not really right how do we hit the tower good yeah. question no clue um so as you can imagine this is gonna go poorly right uh my mistakes are gonna be very similar to your mistakes because that's how the game works right so wow all of a sudden look look at that we threw right we try to hit a tower when we're not supposed to right does that make sense no wait does it make sense or it does make sense uh to try to hit the tower no right it doesn't make sense to try to hit yeah. the tower right so uh whatever we just put back to making money right that's our job and then uh a fight going fights going on so we see if we can help uh probably not a good idea to help honestly because we didn't really get too much start baron uh it's probably probably not the best decision but uh i thought we could turn sure fights breaking out whatever this doesn't really matter um do baron because it's pve right uh and then fast forward and then we actually end up losing this game but here we're at a very good position to win yeah does that make sense we have perfect farm eight kills flashes up right we should win the game here we actually threw here but um if you want to watch how we threw we'll watch this out but uh <laughs> this is what i want you to do for your next 20 games is this is the result it's zero okay. zero zero 240 farm at 23 minutes okay Okay. That's all that's all we care about. I promise yeah, yeah. if you can do that You will literally kill the closest guy and win the game, right? Because the other AD carry is gonna have half your farm because they have no They have no idea what they're doing. Okay, so if you can do this you're winning the game So what happens here? What are we trying to do that? We shouldn't uh, Hit the tower All right, this is actually the next tower not this tower because uh, that tower is low so um, you can actually uh, Make an exception, but that's one of the exceptions, right? Is that it's so low they can't defend but here, you know We're gonna try and hit the tower and we know that this is a mistake, right? Um, so let's watch this in full screen. Let's see what happens. <laughs> look how look how far ahead we are. Okay, I'm telling yeah. you that it does, literally doesn't matter uh, if you break the rules and you don't have an exception ready. It's donezo, right? Hundred percent donezo, right? So look at that, right? We're all we're all fucked, right? We didn't even we didn't even get to hit the tower. We just all donezo, right? So how can we lost this fight? Two uh... reasons. Scion forces your flash, and then because you flashed him, Ori was able to hit you with the, the ult. Right. Think on a bigger scale in terms of what we talked today in your games. Uh, numbers. Right. Numbers advantage. Why does Malphite TP not count? Because uh, by the like they're a Wombo, so right. by the time he TPs, it's done. Yes. 4v5, you lose. 100%. Doesn't matter that I have 8 kills. Doesn't matter that I have perfect farm. Literally, none of that matters, okay? If you have less people, you're gonna lose. That's what I want you to think. Um, and then you just, you just, we just lose, right? So uh, another, the uh, the second reason that's secondary to four v five is we were engaged on. We got hit by their engage, so yeah, yeah. we lost, right? Um, that's it. That's the simple reason, right? Makes sense. It's the exact same as in your game, right? So that's what I want you to think is that as long as you can. Uh, play to these rules right you're going to do very well and if you break these rules you should expect to lose right lose the fight okay. lose the game whatever lose baron whatever but whenever you break these rules and you don't have a good reason to right do we have a good reason to uh do this no no real good reason right um a good reason would be something like oh we're going to uh come up with a way like sit behind this this tower so Sion hits it and then we can use flash for Oriole. And we can kite while Mafia comes in. So it's the, la the fight lasts more than four seconds. Yeah. In which case, it's 5v5, they chase, we win, right? But we got engaged on. So uh, we had no exception to the rule. So we just lose, right? There's no way to beat this. Um, so if you have no way to uh, uh, break, an, break a rule, don't even try, okay? Because, um, you know, even if we have a way, the execution can go poorly as well. So yeah. um, that's why I wanted you to think. You play, along the, you play to uh, what... We, we talked about today, you're going to win every game. All right. All right. That's what I want you to think. No 4v5, prioritize money yeah. in mid-game, and focus on the lane matchup. And you're doing really well, I think. Cool, cool. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, I definitely, yeah, I mean, 
uh, it usually ends up like the wins come from mid game anyways like so if i can just improve my early game i definitely think i will succeed a lot more sounds good sounds good any last questions you want to go back and review any concepts anything like that uh no nah, that's good all right cool um i'll upload this to youtube so you can go back and rewatch it but if that's all then have a good one and good luck in your games yep thanks man yep let me know how things go will do